Hi, my name is Scott Fromey, and welcome to the Backwoodsman's Institute. Been out here, I just got a fresh blanket of snow last night, oh, about six inches. I just figured I'd be at, go out there and see if I can find me a few coyotes. Been out there, oh, for several hours. Decided to take a little break, get out of the wind and the cold. Pack me a little bit of a thermos of coffee. Just take a little break. You know, after you know, being out in the cold, it's probably about 18 degrees. I don't know what the, really the wind chill factor is. But it takes a lot out of a person, especially when you're out hunting. You're 100% focused all the time. And after so many hours of it, you know, you, if you find yourself making a few mistakes or making a little extra noise, a little extra movement, you're, you find yourself kind of losing focus on really what you're doing, you know, it's, it's time to sit down and, and take a break. And I try and uh, prepare a little bit when I'm going out in the really cold. I got a, a pack of some extra clothing. In case I get wet, uh, some shelter material in case something happens and I gotta hang out in the cold for a while until somebody gets me if I get hurt or can't move or something. Um, I said I find it always useful. I've always done this for a long time. Is uh, I got this thermos probably when I was a teenager, probably younger. I think I've had a long time. It's been a good companion for me, especially out here in the cold, and it's been a many a duck season with me. I just put hot chocolate or coffee in there, and, and it's a good way to take the edge off. Also, being out in the cold all day, and you find yourself burning a lot of fuel up, especially inside, you know, trying to keep yourself warm. Uh, you might eat me a candy bar or something like that to try and help that out as far as, as far as keep the calories up, keep my calorie intake going and providing fuel for the furnace in here that's got to generate heat out there. It's all about being out there and enjoying the, the outdoors. You don't have to be going out there and thinking that, man, i got to be harvesting something or seeing game all the time. It's, it's, it's not all about that. I mean, it's fun too, but it's, if you could take time out while you're hunting, to sit back and enjoy the surroundings or hang out in a little overhang like this with a little lunch and, and uh, you know, a hot warm drink and get the egg off. It kind of makes the day more enjoyable and you take time to learn things and, and you're sitting there and enjoying like the water coming down off that little waterfall. Um, thinking that man, if I ever got caught in a blizzard, this wouldn't be a bad place to hang out at. You know, I can get me a shelter, wrap up in my little blanket here and, and build me a little fire, maybe keep the edge off and hang out here for a while. So it's always things like that that you should be thinking about and going through your head when you're out in the woods. And like I said, you know, after you've been out there a while, you can kind of find the, the little the beauty of it all. You know, God's given us so much here to, to appreciate. And if we don't take time to sit there and or, or sit and enjoy it, you know, man, what a waste, what a waste. Next time you're going out in the woods, pack your little lunch or pack your little something, take a break and just take time to sit and enjoy the surroundings and enjoy nature, you get a whole lot more out of it. Trust me.